Hello everyone, how are you? So in today's video what I'm going to be doing is um, basically what I would do normally with my dog when I need to give him a little bit of a trim, like trim his beard and his eyebrows because obviously being a schnauzer it's really easy for him to get um, his hair uh, pretty long and then he can't see and it's a mess so I always need to trim it like probably once every one to two months and um, then I'm also going to be giving him a bath and I'm going to be just hydrating his paws and just taking care of him in general. I also am going to clean his ears but I'm probably not going to film that because he really does he, he doesn't like it all and so I'm not even going to torture him like that and um, yeah basically that's what I'm going to be doing and uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, let's get into the video! So the first thing that I started doing was brushing his beard and his eyebrows so that I could be able to cut them properly and try to do it as even as I could. He doesn't enjoy this at all and so it was a little bit hard to try to cut them. It's always hard with him. But um, I just try to go really slow and even if I take a long time it doesn't matter because as long as I'm not hurting him and I do a okay job to me that works perfectly fine So the next thing that I do is usually give him a bath so that I take all the fur away and it's not going all over the house and as you will see then the water gets really really nasty because he really needed a bath. He hadn't been bathed probably like a month. Um, he also doesn't like this but surprisingly this time around he was a little bit more chill. So once he's all washed up, I'm just gonna dry him with a towel, I let him air dry, I don't use any dryers or anything because he doesn't, he wouldn't stay still. He doesn't stay still already so <laughs> that would be really really bad. Um, and then I just brush him to take any extra hair that I can because obviously even though he doesn't shed, he ends up always having like hair that comes out, especially after a bath, it's really normal. So I just do it in the bathtub so that it's easier to clean up and it's not all over the couch. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do uh, when I bathe him. So 
So the next thing that I do is hydrate his paws. I do this because obviously he walks on different surfaces and it ends up always having cracked up paws and never smooth. So I just hydrate them because it helps with um, preventing cuts and just keeping them a little bit more soft, which obviously will feel a lot better for him when he has to walk around. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please give it a like and subscribe. See you next time.